could go from champion to legend to icon in one afternoon. Yeah, as she came out of the tunnel into the, into the enclosure, it was almost like a spotlight was put straight on her. She looked unbelievable. It's a massive effort, 58 kilos. No mare's ever done it, no horse has ever won a third one. I could just tell when I looked at her, she was, she was on the job. It was, just looked magnificent. Can the diva do it again? Here we are at the start of the uh, 05 Cup, her third assault. Stand by for a start. He's so relaxed and she's just so in the zone. They're set. Racing in the cup. Very important. The first furlong, you just get a feel for the race straight away. McKay Diva going to the second half of the field, but has already got over about two or three away from the rails at the very least. It's just so good. I've got basically two thirds back in the field. The, the, the pace of the race felt good to me. By the time I get in the wee post, bang, I'm on the fence. I couldn't be happier at this point just like turn the key off right now because just all I have to do is idle from this point. Great piece of riding by Bossy as they leave the straight to the 2000. Been here twice before and you wouldn't believe it, I'm in exactly the same place I was on her two previous starts. About 1900 left to go in the cup now. Just little instructions, woo, you know, just, just, and, and she was always very receptive. Every time you talk to her, one ear would come back. A length and a half further back, McKayby Diva. Uh, back there in company at the 1400 with her is Vinnie Rowing, Hux Dancer on the outside. On the 1000 metre mark, there's so much goes on. You want to know who's tiring. You want to actually know who's going forward. What horses are travelling better than you? With 58, I was very aware that I didn't want to have to cover any more ground than it was necessary. And very quickly, before you know it, you're at the half mile. The Kaibi Diva still well back on the inside as they come to the turn. And I get towards the 600 metre mark. I'm very, very conscious. I want to make sure I get her clean air when I let her go because when she goes, it's going to be instant speed. 500 left to go, coming around the home turn now. Very quickly, I'm exposed and I'm just there with that wall of horses and I hadn't even let it go yet. And there was a run just to my right. I'm just about to walk into it. Here's McKayby Diva. And you wouldn't believe it. Here we go. I could feel 300 metres of just exhilaration. It was just a remarkable feeling. I've never had it before and I've never had it since. A nation roars for a hero. She's starting to wind up. The crowd starts to roar and I, and I just know I'm home. No horse in the world can come with me right now. But McKayby Diva clear with 100 metres to go. Excellent run to second, but a champion becomes a legend. I've just won my third Melbourne Cup and I cannot quite believe it. What an amazing feeling. I am so in awe of this unbelievable athlete that I'm sitting on. Just in shock, you know, that, wow, we've just done something you know, quite extraordinary here. It is the greatest Melbourne Cup win of all time. Here, here, there has never been a moment in the history of the great race like this. Go and find the smallest child on this course because they will be an example of the only person here that will live long enough to see something like that again. You're the first person to climb Everest. That's what I felt. That's what I imagine he felt like. You know, like standing up there, checking, looking down and going, I'm the first person to stand here and do this.